Hi everyone, welcome back to Legend Any. This is my first video in 2023. I hope you all had a good start and today we are exploring a new hawker center in the neighborhood of Canberra or Sembawang. So it's called Bukit Canberra Hawker Center. It looks from outside like a huge new condo, but I don't know what it looks like inside. Let's go explore and get some food. Bukit Canberra is a newly opened integrated hub offering wellness, food and fun activities to the public. Booking through the Active SG app, people can enjoy playing badminton, basketball or even table tennis in the indoor sports hall. Or go for a swim at the swimming complex, which is planned to be open in March 2023. When walking into the Hawker Center, it feels very open, surrounded by lots of green. The whole place looks modern, new and very welcoming. There are quite a variety of food stalls, also some which are not super typical, at the usual hawker centers. Now we are at the home treasure salted duck. We're gonna try the signature dish, the salted duck rice. It has only 456 calories. So we're starting off with the salted duck rice. This hawker just opened like a month ago, so the people are very friendly, everything is super new and everything seems super open, green and modern. Trying the duck meat first. Mm. Very flavorful and juicy duck. The duck is brined in salt and that makes the meat super tender and delicious. There's flavors of star anise, ginger, soy, and all the flavors together, they go very well with the soy gravy rice. Definitely a plate worth trying. You can add some soup. For those of you who like it spicy, they have a good combination of chili, garlic and vinegar. Sour and spicy, tasty. Mm. The most fascinating is their canopy, nutrients, can meal concept which is incorporated throughout the entire hawker center at each and every stall. Each dish offered in this hawker has been analyzed and is categorized into green, orange or red categories. At each stall you will see the calorie count for each dish which can be very helpful. Next up is Granny's Thunder Tea Rice. We're gonna go for the only meal that is available which is th Thunder Tea. <laughs> Our second dish is the thunder tea rice. It is basically a Singaporean bibimbap where you mix all kinds of different vegetables together. It is typically known as lei cha fan, which is a hakka dish. The rice is topped with various vegetables and toppings such as nuts, tofu, seeds and herbs. This soup recipe uses basil leaves, mugwort leaves, mint leaves, coriander leaves, peanuts, sesame seeds and all the veg are pounded into a soup base. We opted for the brown rice version, which is in total $5 with the pumi soup. This is a super healthy dish. Let's try it. So it tastes super healthy. It's a bit salty, which probably comes from the dried shrimps. You can add more of the tea, the soup, into the rice to make it a bit more balanced. Mm, a very nutritious, healthy and delicious meal. Actually, thana tea rice is a meal or a dish that I've never heard of before coming to Singapore. And it's pretty unique for me. For all the vegetarians out there, you can try this dish, ask for no shrimps, and then you will be enjoying this meal as well. Our third and last dish for today is gonna be fish ball mincemeat noodles. I chose the Mee Pok type of noodles and this store looks good. The noodles look very al dente, not too soggy and if you want most flavor out of it you order a dry version. As usual you can add some soup into the noodles if you feel like they are a bit dry to mix them up. That's the way to go. You can see the minced meat. You can have two fish balls and 
three meatballs actually in this little bowl of soup. Let's give the noodles a try. Very solid bowl of noodles, good amount of spice. They will ask you if you want spicy. Yes, I always want spicy. That one ton. Mm. Super crispy. Freshly fried, very delicious. Let's try the fish balls. Mm. Solid fish ball. And proper meat in the meatballs. Mm. Third and last dish for today, did not disappoint. I really recommend all of you guys to come to this new Hawker Center. Check it out, it's really new, modern, green, lush and super airy. So it's not a lot of people here, not so cramped as some of the other super popular and touristy Hawker Centers. So um, hope you enjoyed my first video of the year. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I would have loved to try all of the other stalls as well, but our stomachs only allowed three dishes for today. We will come back to explore and try the rest of them, hopefully very soon.